exercise number three. If the pelvic lifts exercise and the crossover exercise is easier, you can progress to this more dynamic exercise. It's called the rocking chair. You're sitting straight up, making sure that your legs are aligned and parallel to each other. Your hands are either supported on your palms or on your fists, so you can put a small book underneath your wrist to make the wrist a bit more loose. And then you lift your buttocks up from the ground, lift one leg above the ground, and then you roll yourself up and down, and then you push yourself up and down. Make sure when you do this exercise, you do not push yourself from your hands, but you're just leaning on them. If you want to add a bit more resistance, you can try to drag your body backwards and give more resistance to the forward motion. Again, you lift your buttocks up in the air, and then you push up, and you go down, and you go up, and you go back. If this exercise becomes easy, you progress to a more harder exercise. We lift our buttocks up above the ground, and now you, and then you pull yourself forward underneath, and then you push yourself up, and then roll back until you reach the backwards position. And if that becomes uh, easy, or you want to make it a bit more dynamic, a bit more versatile, you push your buttocks up in the air, lift one leg above the ground, and then you push up your buttocks, roll forward parallel to the ground, and then roll down when you're closer to the ground. So in a way, it's a kind of an elliptical motion. One, you're coming from the below, and then you push yourself up. And then the second version, you push yourself up, and you're dragging yourself from below. Make sure, as I said before, all the time you're not pushing yourself from your hands. The part that's moving, you're trying to drag yourself forward from your heel, drag the body forward, and you can add a bit more resistance from your hands. Thank you.